Mm. Right. So we talk about um, intraductal papilloma, or they call it what breast papilloma, right? Any way you want to call it, or intraductal papilloma of the breast. It's still right. Just call it one way. So for the intraductal papilloma, anytime you hear a word like this, it's good for you to always break it down. Intraductal means intra inside, ductal inside the ducts. You understand? So um, it's a benign as a non-cancerous tumor. So it develops within the milk ducts of the breast. All right. So for the features, for the structure, we have white-like growths made up of glandular and fibrous tissues, along with blood vessels. So location is often found in what ducts that are large near the nipples. Right? So it's usually found near the larger ducts, okay, near the nipples. So or sometimes, rarely though, you find it's in smaller ducts. Yeah. They are further away from the nipples. So the ones near the nipples is what is called solitary nipples. Solitary papilloma, sorry. The ones far inside is the multiple papillomas right so symptoms is a uh, surgery breast to be having discharges so clear or bloody discharge all right so small lump behind or near the nipple so it may be painful or may not be painful so sometimes it is asymptomatic and you just discover it randomly okay so diagnosis is what imaging studies right mammographs or ultrasound so it needs fire abnormalities biopsies where you are taking some tissues just to go and confirm the problem doctogram okay maybe used to what locate the papilloma using nipple causing the nipple discharge you understand so treatment is surgical removal right you remove the papillomas and some cases just observe if it is asymptomatic or is so benign so there's a risk for breast cancer right so the solitary ones they do not significantly increase the risk for breast cancer but the multiple ones that's the one that is what further away from the nipples there's a risk for developing breast cancer right so that's also for intraductal papilloma